This is Phoenix, and I'm very pleased to announce that my ninth published book, Torque, will be out in this month and by this month of November 2016. And just so you know, Torque is a poetry book, and uh, on the back um, I have a quote, and the quote is, let us leave theories there and return to here is here, from one of my favorite books ever written, Finnegan's Wake by James Joyce. Now, you might be wondering what Torque is. Well, um, it is definitely a poetry collection. Um, it's also a collection of experimental poems, to be more specific. The poems are very, very uh, radical in terms of uh, using unconventional techniques, such as how I mess with syntax, uh, such as how I um, mess with language itself, um, linguistic torquing, as you could call it. Uh, as well as the way in which I mess with the idea and concept of the poem itself. These are all ways in which I try to undermine poetry um, in a very creative way to show what poetry can do and what poetry is capable of. I would ultimately describe Torque as a collection of anti-avant-garde, avant-garde poems. And what I mean by that is, I will be honest, I have not had good encounters with those who understand the avant-garde, and sometimes that even includes uh, works by the avant-garde as well as proponents of the avant-garde, uh, people that disseminate the work and teach it, etc. I remember having really negative experiences in college with uh, those who taught the avant-garde uh, because I felt that basically there were many uh, presuppositions you were just supposed to understand automatically, one of which is that you are never supposed to be, you're not actually supposed to be capable of understanding avant-garde literature because it is by definition supposed to be elitist. This is why I describe my work as being anti-avant-garde because even though I'm uh, appreciative of the avant-garde and I use avant-garde techniques um, in this book, I also use anti-avant-garde techniques because it is a reaction and because I don't want it to be advanced per se I want it to be experimental, that's okay, uh, because experimental doesn't always um, indicate elitism uh, in the sense that experimental is a technique and form and it's a way of writing poetry. But in terms of the attitude of the advanced guard, as it can be called, I didn't want to take part in that. I find it arrogant and I find it problematic in a lot of ways and honestly there are many avant-garde professors that I uh, struggle with uh, on a conceptual level and that I think are actually um, devastating literature as we know it today. And that's one of the things that uh, created this book. Uh, and that includes the avant-garde itself as well as avant-garde literature. But that's the irony, right? Is that I quote James Joyce, who was um, probably the epitome of the avant-garde at the beginning of the 20th century, right? And so that's why it's difficult. And that's why there's a very tenuous relationship. Because the tenuous relationship is that of respecting the avant-garde and appreciating what it's doing artistically, but also reacting to the avant-garde and what the avant-garde is uh, in terms of its advanced ideals uh, or purported advanced ideals, and more specifically, I mean by that, elitism. And I have a problem with elitism uh, on a political level as well as on a conceptual and artistic level because I think that it's not necessarily that art should be for the masses per se because it's not that you sell out your work but it's the idea that art shouldn't be this, uh, this show that you um, create in order to be better than others. And I think that art is unfortunately one of the biggest institutions that has allowed this kind of elitism to exist, and I wanted to challenge that. So you might be wondering what torquing means, and torquing basically is a uh, technique that I use with language, with syntax, with concept, and the idea is to twist all of these things, uh, especially twist language. I think of Harriet Mullen in her beautiful poetry. Uh, Harriet, Harriet Mullen is an avant-garde poet, uh, but she's a very intelligent avant-garde poet and has a lot to offer in terms of poetry. I was very inspired by Recyclopedia and Sleeping with the Dictionary, two very uh, crucial books. Um, and Basically, the idea is to twist language, to push it past its breaking point, and to show that there is no limit to what you can say, 
and no limit to how you can express those themes. This is a preview for my book, Torque, my poetry book, Torque, which will be out soon enough. It will be out uh, at, by the end of this month of November of 2016. I hope you enjoyed this preview and look out for my book. Thank you. This is Phoenix.